Hello my loves, my name is Jo and welcome to this long awaited video. This video was filmed 10 months ago, um, so I'm just gonna let the old me take it away and then I'll jump back at the end and I'll give an update of what I thought about the products which you're about to see me using. Take it away Jo. Hello my loves, my name is Jo. Joe. Um, and today's video is I am going to be creating a look for Support the Support. This is a cross channel support network. It is not an engagement hub because I disagree with those. Where you can share some of your ideas, your looks. It's a way to just get to know new people. As well as the beauty community and the powder room. There is also Twitch gamers. Um, just like you know gamers beauty it's a bit of everything it's uh wonderful it's on discord if you want to check it out please message me on instagram at, at joseph william robinson hill and i'll give you any more information or you can check them out on instagram support the support for this collab we each thought it would be fun to create looks showcasing the there's cookie barking you're just gonna have to do <laughs> the cross platform aspect of it so we have a Twitch gamer girl. I'm going to be the Instagram boy. But what's fun about this look is I'm also going to be doing a full face of first impressions. So I've just got an order from Beauty Bay. And what we got in it, which I think, well, no, I know it's, okay, okay, hold on, hold on. I'll show you what I got. I got the Makeup Revolution Ultimate Face Paint Palette, the SFX. Um, I had this last year and I'm not gonna lie, I never liked it, but I've just done a couple of swatches there just to see. Um, and I really like the uh, the new formula. I, I'm sure they've reformulated it, I'm almost certain. It's so much more creamy, so much more pigmented, so there we go. We've got the SFX white base. I have this from last year as well, so I might just compare the both of them in my look just to see, but I might not, so. I can chill up. No, well, just to see, just to see, just to see. But can I just say, I really like the new themed uh, packaging this year, the metallic red scratchiness. Then I got these little, the highlighter drops and the skulls. That is like a liquid version of Moonlit Morgue, kind of, only ours is a little bit more shimmering, a little bit more green, but yeah. Then we also got the Jeffree Star Magic, Car Magic Star concealer in C0 which is the pure white. Uh, that is so sharp. Can I just say I don't like this packaging at all. Um, I don't I think it's I just think it's cheap to be honest with you um, and that's ridiculously sharp for a concealer so the fuck Jeffrey. But you know if the product's good who gives a fuck what the packaging look like. And then this isn't from Beauty Bag but I've included in this because it is technically going to be a Fresh Impressions and I'm doing a full face Fresh Impressions and I needed this product. So I may as well use a new one I've never tried before. And it is the May, Ma May Ron Makeup Edge. This is different from the May Ron Makeup uh, Paradise Paint which is my favourite. I think, listen to me, I think this has more wax in it because Edge it's meant to be good for line work. Um, fully opaque coverage, blend resistant upon application. It's perfect. Watch, it's perfect match to Mayron's Blendable Paradise. Great for outlines, crisp lines, and a perfect flawless edge. Do not use blue or green on the lips. That'll just be for the lake staining. Do not use yellow or red by the eyes. Again, that's just because of staining. Um, blue lake, if you wanted to know, has a chemical in it. The isn't safe for ingestion that's why you're not use it on the lip and red lake can stain that's why you're not meant to use that on your eyes but that's up to you obviously if you want to i am let me see let me see tester wax seed wax it's still a uh, glycerin in it but i think this is going to be comparable to blue squid that i've been using uh paint where it's like a hybrid between a uh, wax and a glycerin paint that is gonna fall am i messing yeah, so I'm really looking forward to that and as well, uh, I need to use some shadows from the collective. I'm going to be using Helianthius, Tune, Fly 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 and Antares, maybe a bit of Azrael. Um, just because uh, obviously when you shadow the collective shadows is the only shadows I use nowadays. 
um, because I adore them, obviously, not to be biased. But yeah, that's the introduction to this look, full face first impression. I'll probably jump back at the end and tell you what I think, so bye bye. That's a skull, and I'm a skeleton. Look. To get the wee Halloween as well. Aren't you? Wee Halloween as well. <gasps> yes, shit. Mm, ah, the wee Halloween guy. Do you know her birthday's on Halloween? Isn't it Tookie? Tookie's birthday? You looking so forward to getting all the trees quite rotten? All the toys and everything? Little sleepy guy. So, okay. Start the look. Joke. Happy Halloween! So guys, I hope you enjoyed the little tutorial bit and I am back to speak about what I thought of the products. Let's just jump straight into it, shall we? I never used those, so... Oops, I swatched them though, that one. I swatched this and it stayed in my hand a little bit and it's a red highlighter, so... And this one's absolutely stunning. It actually reminds me a bit of my lip more from the Collective Cosmetics, to be honest with you. It's got that same sort of tunnel shift, maybe? Obviously, I'll see one's a powder, one's a highlight, so different formulas, different effect. I bought these for the packaging. Really haven't used them since that video either, to be honest with you. There's that. Since I've said it about five times thus far in this video, let me get Moonlit Morgue from the Collective Cosmetics. So as you can see, as I said, tonal shift yet, the same tonal shift is kind of there, but as I said, different formulas, different effects. We're mean let Morgul melt into your skin with it being a powder. This one definitely sits on top of the skin and that's been on my hand for quite a minute now. <laughs> and it doesn't seem to be drying down. That's the kind of product I would put on my face with a beauty, a wet beauty sponge and then I would go over it with a powder for that real pop. That is I won. Now, on reflection, I'm sure this was, it stains so much. Would I ever use this on my face as a highlight? No, because that staining is ridiculous. But, 10 months later, I'm wondering, was this ever meant to be a highlight, or is this a lip tint? I'm 
I mean, this could be a use for it. And maybe that is what it was for. But I don't think it was. Um, is it transfer proof? A little bit. So if you bought that, I guess that gives you hey, use looks. for it. So I just had to check because that was aggravating me. And it is listed as a highlighter on the website where I bought it. So I have no idea what they were thinking. The white base, uh, whenever I first use this, do not use a brush. I used a foundation brush and it was the most streakiest mess I've ever had. Definitely, if you're gonna use it, use a sponge. Once I applied it with a sponge, I actually really enjoyed it. You have to set it down, obviously, with it being a cream product. But once I set it down, it was sound. Um, I'm definitely gonna use it again in the future. I can't believe I've had two bottles from last year as well. Oh, and also, uh, use this one on this side of the body, this one on this side of the body, and yeah, they're the same. Can't believe I've had these four years sitting in the drawer and never used it. This adore. Um, I've actually almost used this entire tub. This has the pigmentation. Um, it blends on, it's just like a white foundation. Obviously, like I said in the video, you need to set it down whenever you're using it. It'll slip and slide around, but it gives you a good base to work on and it's something that I actually have reached for these not only just for special effects makeup, but if I want to lighten a foundation or a concealer, I put in a little drop of this into it and it works great. The Jeffree Star concealer, I really liked. Um, I'm not going to lie, I really don't like the packaging of it at all. Just, no. But even whenever I was at it in the video, I could just see how like clear my under eye was. I'm a massive fan of it. Um, I'm actually going to go and pick up my shade in my foundation colour. The elephant in the room. This formula is a good formula. I stand by what I said about the packaging. I dislike it. But I cannot get behind Jeffree Star as a person. Um, I kind of addressed this in my second to last video, the I wouldn't watch this one you're wasting your time but it was just about how I don't think Jeffrey takes accountability for his own actions and because of that I will not mention him from this point forward on my channel nor will I purchase anything from his brand. Some of the other concealers, um, one's actually an eye base that I prefer but does the same job. One for neutral makeup and the other for special effects makeup is the Conceal and Confect uh, white concealers from Makeup Revolution. These are a fraction of the cost. Uh, they give good coverage and they also go on smoothly. And also if you want that white highlight and a special effects makeup is the P. Louise base in Rumor Zero. Uh, this is an eye base but for special effects makeup you can put that on your triangles as well because Don't say I told you. The Makeup Revolution palette, I really enjoyed this. Obviously, I never done it full justice because I was putting it over a white base. So it was muting out the colours a little bit, but it was so easy to mix the colours to get what colour I wanted. It was so easy to apply. This is so cheap. So if you're thinking to get a little paint palette to do a Halloween costume this year, I would highly recommend this one. And then to just really intensify it and to provide that longevity, just go over it with a shadow of your choice. Correlates to the responding color. Our little paint palette from Makeup Revolution. I have not touched this palette since that look. To be honest with you, I just don't think I like this sort of paint. I do stand by what I said is that if you wanted a little cheap look, special effects makeup wasn't really your thing, this would create a look for you. You would have to definitely set it down with powders. Because um, as you can see, there's just so much slip. It doesn't dry down at all. And there is transfer. So you would need to set it down with the shadows. But if it was a one-off look or you weren't sure of SFX makeup was something you wanted to do and you wanted just a cheap little palette to try out, then definitely I would say, yeah, go ahead. Um, it can't do you no wrong. But... This formula is a bit waste.com makeup. That sort of um, pigment in Vaseline is what it's kind of like. But it would get the job done. Um, but there's much better palettes out there if you wanted to start out. I would recommend the little palette from Blue Squid Pro. Here is a little palette from Blue Squid Pro. As you can see, I love this palette. I get much use out of it. So much so, I've actually went out and purchased myself a new one. It's available on Amazon. 
Um, these are water activated paints which I prefer to work with. I think it's easier and it's more beginner friendly than what this would be. The price difference between these isn't that steep either so if it was going to be between the two I would go for this. But if you were right and you just seen this palette and thought I wonder what it's like. It's an okay beginner palette for Halloween makeup. And that would be it. I wouldn't invest in something like this for your kit. The Mayron Edge paint. Um, firstly, I know you get this bit of plastic, right? Great. But, mostly throw that away, I don't really use it. The, this window touches the paint. So, it's covered in paint. Already. And, so what are you meant to do? Put that in every single time? Because that's a bit of dicking around, to be honest with you. So, that is a bit annoying, but whatever. That's just packaging. The actual formula of the paint on my first impression, no, I don't like it. It's like, no, it's not that I don't like it, uh, it's not my favourite. I have always said I prefer glycerin paint because I prefer my brush to have that glide. It, you get a continuous slide and that. This was very like, waxy. But I think actually I think it's a wax based form version of the Paradise paint. Which wax line is great for line work and for if you want like the darkest most opaque colour wax paint's going to give it to you um but for me uh, i prefer glycerin paint so i'm of course a little bit best but i want to just try them out a little bit more before i actually give them a final thought on them because there's some other artists i know absolutely adore them and i just don't think that maybe this wasn't the right look to like try with them i just don't know i never really i need to do a full look focused on trying those out um, to really see and put them to the test properly because in first impression I would rather grab like a Blue Squid Pro or a Nairon Glycerin than that to be honest with you and I don't like the packaging so that's that. As predicted that is an absolute mess but the actual formula of the paint as I said it is definitely more waxy I have got some more use out of it um, the white I think is really good and it is a highly pigmented paint but like I said with a wax based paint it is a little bit more graspy a little bit more pulley on the skin I do prefer using like uh, the Blue Squid Pro um, black cake but I do like the formula off that paint um, but it is not my favourite but I would grab the game for line work but I would never like do a coloured base with that paint because it would just dry your skin and recently my skin's been okay so I don't want to push it okay I'm back again because that's so indecisive from me so we're doing a test once and for all Mayron Paradise Paint Mayron Edge Paint Blue Squid Pro the first test I want to do is just check on the tackiness. This has now been drying down for 16 minutes and all of them are completely dried down. So I just drew those black squares out using the Mark Reed Signature Brush 16. Um, just this little rounded brush. And now I'm going to take the Mark Reed Tapered Lily Brush and I'm going to draw a white line down each one of these to see if it layers because I was speaking to a uh, fellow face painter, someone that's been in the industry for years and someone whose opinion I respect very much on what we were saying about these paints is and my consensus, I actually know my view. Let me do this test first and then I'll come back and I'll see if what I think is true and actually give an idea. Blue Squid Pro, Mayron Edge, Mayron. So first off was the Mayron Paradise. This paint is great for full coverage, doesn't layer that well and that's because obviously it's with its water activated when you're going back over it with a water activated paint it's going to lift a little bit. Next up was the Mayron Edge. It can layer over each other, it'll give an actual white highlight so if you're doing a skull and you go back in with your white to put those highlights that's what this paint is for and my consensus is these paints I always say is the Mayron Big uh, 30 color palette is brilliant whenever you're getting into makeup because it's a palette that really has it all and that's such an essential whenever you're starting out taking body painting seriously and I've always said that these are not an essential but if you find yourself enjoying makeup and getting into it this is a good product to have in your kit because it'll give you the depth that you need and also the highlight that you need better than what these can 
so it has a purpose there's ways of getting around without these products these are helping you to achieve the effect more in an easier fashion and sometimes if you're working on set not only do you have to think about the affordability but also the ease of the product the blue squid pro which surprisingly enough i think layered the best out of all three of these blue squid pro as i said is a hybrid between a wax and a glycerin also what i have noticed is this the Mayron Paradise dries down completely. It's got that complete matte finish. As were both the Blue Squid and the Mayron Edge still have a slight tackiness to them. But obviously with the wax base you're going to get longevity in it. And that tackiness feeling is going to help it like really sink in and grab to the skin. So it's not always a negative. So my final decision from speaking to others in the industry who enjoyed the products. My own opinion 10 months ago, a couple of hours before, and now doing this test, I wasn't happy with the conclusion of the video because if you're coming to get uh, a review of something, me being like, mm, I don't know, just get it if you want, don't get it. It's not really helpful to you. So that's my consensus is I'm glad that it is in my kit because it is giving me a job for a product that the Mayron Paradise paint does not do. Um, the Myron Paradise Bean cannot lay over each other and get distinct lines. This is brilliant for line work. It does what it's called, Myron Edge. They're never claiming that it was made for a full face, is like what I was saying. So I would highly recommend that product. But I believe the Blue Squid Bro is better than the Myron Edge for the purposes of the Myron Edge. Back to old, old Joe now, before couple of hours ago Joe jumps in and my loves that is my full face of first impressions I hope you enjoyed it I hope you enjoyed the look I know this video is a little bit outdated but we finally got there in the end and I'm glad that I finally have a makeup related video back on my page thank you so much for those who have been watching my videos recently I know I always joke around saying that no one watches them but I know there's a small handful that does and I just want to let you know that I really do appreciate it um, this is just a place where I don't have any expectation. I'm the mess about and I feel like I'm just sitting down and talking to friends and that's something that I do really appreciate. So thank you so much my loves. I'm going to go, I hate this colour on me. But that would fade off lovely. I'm going to go edit this and add it into the rest of the video. And I will catch you in the next one. Make sure to join out, support the support on Instagram. Um, there you can find a link to the Discord if you want to join in. And I shall see you later my loves. Goodbye.